Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vichka Panarov. I'm from 2 bits and a byte, team 4029 from Lexington, Mass. We're an FTC team and we're going to world. So today's actually Monday and we're leaving today. So got all the things left in my house. We're working here for a break because we're a school team. So um, we actually got to fix some stuff. So before I bring the rest of the stuff in, I'm going to run the bot and a heat gun to the school. So let's do that real quick. All right. So we're, we're all done, everything's packed up, bringing out the final load of the bot to the bus. We got the, all our stuff over there, it's pretty small. We got the brainstormers team 8644, we're bringing our stuff with us. They're uh, flying out, but we're, uh, we're busting up. How's it going, David? Are you Good. excited? I'm pumped. When are you leaving? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah. So when I yell one, we're gonna start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ian. I thought it was twelve. You're at twelve. Eleven. Come on, man. Oh, wait, I remember the final. It's actually still beautiful out. Oh, it's wonderful. Could I get a, um, a, a bacon cheeseburger? We got two full beds. I'm gonna share one of them. I, yeah, Dimitri's out of there now. Dusty. Not a bad room for the night. Open hotel. Captain is team sleep. A little less, a little less sleep now. Pretty long day. Like I think it's been like seven to eight hours on the bus. It's pretty miserable. And we got another four tomorrow. So we'll see you then. I think it's like nah, nine, ten. We have like five minutes to eat breakfast, and then we're heading back out of here. It's a much shorter drive today. I think it's only like four hours or like four and a half to uh, to Detroit. We made it to Detroit. We're here. We're about to unload the bus. Let's go check out the like combat like the competition field. It's official. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I spot a wild David. Hello, right. division buddy. Right. How's your flight? Uh, good. I was like half asleep the entire time. That was fun. So we finally got to our hotel. I think we're in Troy, Michigan. About I think it's like a 20 to 30 minute drive to the venue. Uh, we just offloaded all the brainstormer stuff. So we put on number plates, which is kind of hilarious that we haven't done that yet. We have competition and inspection tomorrow, but we just put those on. And actually, one of the bearings uh, in our drive wheel uh, snapped because we dropped a magnet in there and tried to run the wheels. 
Um, so we started replacing that one, and then we, I think Tomo and Cassidy just finished that up while Dim and I were still in the pool. Have a good night. So I'm off to the driver's meeting. I think I think it's starting at two, and it is, if my watch will turn on, it is like 2.05 now. So they're just, they're just going over all the rules, and then if like, because people come from different competitions, anyone who like wants to ask questions about specific rules about what they can or can't do, they can ask. And then we're match three, so after that we have like probably half an hour until opening ceremonies, and then we'll have to queue before opening ceremonies, which just kind of sucks. Um, so our auto worked well. Uh, we got two glyphs in. Unfortunately, our partner, they they were mis misset up their robot a little bit, so they actually knocked off the incorrect jewel, but it was all good. Um, they got their regular glyph in. Uh, uh, from there, we got our full cipher. We're having some hitches where our like our flip our like stopper servos that are in the back were actually interfering with our flip up, so we actually had to like redo like three or four dumps. But even with that, we stayed we stayed cool, calm, and collected. Uh, we got a full crypto box, and then our partner scored their relic. And then we went to work on their relic, uh, on, their, on their crypto box, and then we got three, maybe four, runs into their box. And then our opponent got a relic and a cipher. Yeah, I think and they that's had it. a second uh, relic, but dropped. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good about this match. I'm, I'm pretty confident we won. Yeah. Definitely a good way to start off the day. Like, obviously it wasn't perfect, but a very good start. Caught the first early dub. Go Warriors! Alright, so it's Thursday, we're going out for lunch. Uh, we've had two matches today, and we're still 3-0. and but we got two really hard ones coming up. We're playing the Brainstormers next, and then, like, pretty shortly after that, we're playing the Robotic Doggies. Uh, I'm not sure where our partners are for that match, but that's going to be another like, very even, tough match to go through. So, uh, taking a quick and kind of early lunch. So, we are blue, and our blue auto actually messed up. Uh, and then, the gear takes auto, like, works like normal. And then, we outscored them in Teleop. So, we both got a full crypto box, but, um, oh, and they got a five loop auto, too. But, uh, they, they, they dropped both of their relics in the second zone, and we got two standing relics in the third zone. So we beat him out in Tally Up and Endgame, and we actually won the match by nine points, which is insane, because like the Brainstormers. Except, when the Gear Tick scored their auto glyph, they scored it so far to the edge that when they went go to go back for their second glyphs, because their scoring mechanism is parallel to the ground, so they have two glyphs like this instead of like this, they actually nudged their third, their first glyph out, and by doing so, it was out of the Crypto Box, and then when they scored the other two, it counted as controlling three glyphs at once, because it like wasn't inside the Crypto Box, and that's a double major penalty and a minor for controlling three glyphs. And we lost on that 90 point penalty. Which is like a huge bummer, but we, that, we still played really well. That's the first time we ciphered and double relic in match. And even with that, we had to like redo one of our dumps because a glyph fell out. Like, I don't know. It, it, bummer that we lost, we're no longer undefeated. But still feels really good that like we performed super well in that match. So we're actually coming up with a match on uh, Doge Robotics. All right, so we just finished our fourth match and the last one for the day. Uh, we ended up losing against the Doge Robotics. Our partner uh, failed their autonomous completely, and then DC instantly in the beginning of Teleop, and they just said they did nothing. Uh, and then we were actually we were doing really well. It was one of our cleanest runs, and we were ahead of uh, Doge Robotics uh, or Robotic Doges by one dump. So we would have we would, probably would have ended up outscoring them, except their partner who has DC'd every single other match of the day. All they did was score one dump, and then they drove over to us and just tapped us. And because they DC'd every match, they just had a ton of static buildup, and they DC'd us, unfortunately. So that's another fail for the day. So right now, we're three and two, so we're probably not gonna make it up to be into a picking position. Hopefully we can finagle some stuff, but kind of a bummer, bummer of a day. It's not our fourth. All line selections at eight. I think it's just like almost 6.30 right now. We're gonna head out really soon. Um, I think it's kind of up in the air. We could, things could uh, turn out pretty well for us. Or we could end up not playing at all today, which become a member, so I'm pretty nervous. Okay. We're now here at Edison. We're going to make our uh, number one seed alliance. We're going to make their second choice. Are you ready, Brainstormers? Coming from a home.
hometown of Lexington, Massachusetts, we'd like to invite Team 4029 to Bits and Invite. Bits and Invite and Precious Lakes. So I'm um, going into the semifinals. We were actually really, really confident. So we were up against Evolution and then two Romanian teams, both of which were Clawbots. So we were really confident going in. Both of the matches were actually like pretty big blowouts. Um, going to this division's finals, though, we were actually a good bit more worried because we were up against three very solid teams, and power, the power stackers actually had a potential for up to a sixth with auto, which could outmatch the brainstormers. So we were pretty nervous going in. We knew that if, they, if we played well, played hard, we'd be okay. And that's what that was. Hi, we did it. We're going to the event finals. Yeah, so uh, we have, I think we were leaving at like two. So we have just over an hour. Award ceremonies is right now. We're gonna hang out in the pits. So Brainstem, the brainstormers first pick and on our lines, they're actually getting their fuel from their hotel right now so we can work on our blue auto. Uh, so we're tuning up our corner pads. This is Rob. Woo! So we're heading over, we're gonna get bussed over, or shuttled over to Ford Field. We're gonna set up our pit there, like get our bargain. Then we're gonna get a little bit of time on the field to calibrate. Okay, we got the bus. A little time to calibrate and get things ready. And then I think like they said, we get 15 minutes of practice time without the opposing alliance on the field. This is, dude, this is ridiculous. They're, oh my god, this is insane. So all the glyphs are just hilariously huge. Yeah, they actually like, just like stick every, into everything the is box. big, and then the crypto boxes are also like a bit small. It like they're just getting stuck everywhere, um, and like they're all they're all within the tolerance, but just like everything together is like everything's getting stuck. Additionally, you take one step, like one, you drag your foot once on this carpet, like just that far, and like it's like a pretty solid shock. Check out this stuff. Oh! Does that hurt? Yeah! I <laughs> see so you can see it! <laughs> so, in final match one for the event finals, um, at, and during the autonomous period, uh, gluten free got four glyphs and Picatel Paradox and their alliance got three. Brainstorm got three and Brainstormers they got what should have got they would have gotten four. They knocked over one of their columns. They actually only got three. So the gluten free had a pretty significant advantage there. And the match was going on. Both like everyone was playing great. And by some ridiculous like coincidence, uh, like they could have zagged and they could have zigged. But Brainstem actually their collector hit the power switch of Mechanical Paradox cube because it wasn't properly protected, knocking them out of the match, and that kind of sealed the fate for the, for the first match. Um, Woodfrey did an amazing job trying to catch up, but there was just nothing they could do, and that turned the tide for match one in our favor. Let's welcome them for the first time from Massachusetts, Team number 4029. They are two bits in a bite. They're from Lexington, Massachusetts. And they're standing right next to their best friend. Let's welcome their Alliance captain, 8644. The Brainstormers on the field for the second time. All right, these robots are ready to go. We have two and a half minutes on our timer. Referees give a thumbs up. Red Alliance ready. Blue Alliance ready. And three, two, one, go. Uh, in Autonomous, we actually outscored the Red Alliance, so Brainstormers got five, and our auto worked properly, um, and Gluten Free got four, and Land Bros actually, they missed their first autoglyph, so we were up by a good bit in Autonomous, and from there, we knew that we had a solid margin. If we just play a good match, we play clean, we could do it. Uh, so that was another big boost of confidence. And then going to Teleot period, Land Bros actually disconnected, I think instantaneously, I don't think they got to run at all, which was a huge bummer. Would have been great to see them run. And look at this, the Blue Alliance, they took a coffee break. They already put down their controllers, the robots are on top of the balancing stones, their crypto boxes are filled, and we're looking at three, two, one. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Yeah, let's do my camera! Yeah, let's do my camera! 